Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today we're going to be looking into uh, the quick new video editing features that are brought to us by Adobe Photoshop CS6 Beta. Now I'm very excited in this one, I've just had a quick brief of time to overlook uh, what exactly uh, withholds in this video editing suite and I can actually say right now I'm pretty impressed so uh, I think without further ado I'll go ahead and show you guys. Obviously this beta has been available for a day or two now. Um, but go ahead and import in clips, it's never been simpler, file open and you just go ahead and press what you want it in and there we have our video clip, we've got a timeline, brings up automatically and as you hear we have a long stretch of uh, my bounce clip that I released a while ago that went kind of wrong but decided to upload anyway and we've got a lot of black, you know we've got about 30 seconds of black, this is one that the render actually messed up on so you know there's two ways of actually going about cutting clips in here obviously you can go to the scissors here uh, make sure the cursor is lined up and you can go to the scissors and then that's immediately um, will split the clip right there however in another way what you can do and this is one of the best features I actually really like in this program is the little preview that's brought up when you start to drag a clip as you can see here if you can see in the right hand corner I'm starting to drag it left and you won't see anything yet but as soon as I go to the beginning uh, you can see it actually comes up with a preview so obviously I want this to end pretty much on a black fade like so so as soon as it goes black you know I want it to pretty much end like so and that will literally snap it right there and that preview is a great hand it's a massive time saver uh, one thing I've actually been struggling with quite a bit in Final Cut it takes quite a long time to line everything up to make sure I don't get any overlaps or whatever so that is a great feature I really like that I think Adobe do not yeah, I clocked on something there, you know, creating that, and hopefully I won't be the only one that's going to help. So hopefully it'll help some of you guys as well. Uh, coming on to some of these features over here, we've got the play button and all these standard things that are pretty much in all of Adobe suites, like Premiere and After Effects. Obviously, we've just talked about the cutting or the scissors snapping splitting tool, and we've got these fades here, this little square divided, and this just brings up some very very basic fades, pretty much. Uh, towards a clip so you could fade in you know you've got a crossfade between two clips you can fade it to black uh, some great clips so just say should I split the clip just here and I want it to fade the two if I just go crossfade right there I can alternate the duration to however long I want the fade to last so I want a 10 second fade you know that it won't say you want anything longer than that but uh, for my case it'll be about a second so a second fade between these two will create, create a nice gradual interchange not like it's very needed uh, but we'll see what it looks like anyway. There you go, and the orange just kind of applies in. There, so, so we've got some kind of like ghosting going on, it looks like anyway. Uh, but that's the fade. Obviously, these are two the same clips, so you won't notice a drastic difference. Should you uh, use two different things, you'll notice the fade a lot better. And I do recommend you go ahead and download this because um, you know just mess about with it and see what you like. Uh, but anyway, another thing we've got, we've got this little button here on the clips, and this brings up the video editing things and the duration. You can change the duration of the clip and also you can change the speed so you can change the speed to 400% and 0. well 25% so obviously you can increase the clip and we can speed up the clip and slow down the clip by times 4 so you can go 4 times as slow 4 times as fast uh, quite a bit of flexibility there obviously you're still limited uh, to exactly what you do compared to things like after effects but uh, you know this is obviously very very basic just for the kind of standard need so slow motion and fast motion to that extent it's not going to be an essential need in everyone's requirements and um, so that there's fine uh, obviously in fact I'll bring that back up we've got an audio thing here you know you can change the audio on the sit clip fade in fade out you can mute it uh, whatever you want uh, that's if you've got audio on it you know you can import your own audio as well uh, should you need to you've got a little track down there for it and mini bridge timeline there we go oh god no, my bad um, but if we just drag this up here and we go to video group, you see that immediately you've got these little tabs here, and you know you can change the position, the opacity, and the style, which just allows for keyframe, which is ever so good, I think, for something like Photoshop to have all these kind of features in that pretty much have been taken from After Effects and put in here. So literally, it's a lot of the core of After Effects, you know, the standard video editing put into Photoshop, a lot easier, a lot simpler, and. Um, along with obviously all these styles over here you know it's obviously all put in the video group section as well which is uh, really easy uh, for the user and you know my overall opinion on this guys I really like it um, I suggest you go ahead and download the beta obviously there's loads more things going on uh, I think these 
jump between CS5 and CS6 is mainly for people who, are, who use the program for photography. You know, they've done things to raw, raw, and you know, they've done um, a content aware movie thing, which is actually really good. I've just been testing that out. You know, that works 95% of the time, at least on the pictures I've used anyway. Uh, but it's mainly for photography people uh, with them extensions. So I feel like people. Uh, doing the graphics kind of side of things, there's not going to be much difference, I'm afraid. Um, but anyway, you know, there's always a next time. Uh, but I'm sure you find something that fits your needs. Uh, this video editing, you know, is very simple. I'm, I'm think I'm contemplating using it at the moment because it's so simple, so easy. Uh, I need to try out the see what the render times like. That's one thing Final Cut is actually really good at rendering. It renders so fast, especially compared to a lot of other programs that I've used. Um, but anyway. That's all gonna be there. I'm cut it, gonna cut it off right now. Thanks for watching this video. Obviously, if you have a, if you want me to inspect anything else to do with Adobe Photoshop CS6, let me know. Um, nah, but I'm gonna let it off there. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I've been Connor with Chrome Designs, and hopefully see you guys soon.